Welcome to the fourth lecture of development of lateral surfaces. Now in this lecture we will study the development of square prism. Now let's see the first statement. Now in this statement, let's see a square prism of base 30 mm and height 50 mm rest on HP in such a way that its one of rectangular face is perpendicular to the VP. A prism is cut by an auxiliary inclined plane which is perpendicular to the VP and inclined at an angle 40 degree to the HP and intersecting the axis at a distance 20 mm from the base. Draw the development of remaining portion of a square prism. Now whenever you are solving the problem of development of lateral surfaces in that statement firstly we have to check the position of a given entity whether it is prism or pyramid either it is perpendicular to the VP or parallel to the VP or make some angle with the VP so in this statement it is mentioned that the square prism so it means the square prism object is given now whose dimensions the base is 30 mm and whose axis is 50 mm it is rest on HP in such a way that it's one of rectangular face so square prism has <coughs> six rectangular faces four vertical faces and two horizontal faces one is at a base and another at the top now the one of the rectangular face it means the horizontal faces that face is perpendicular to the VP it means we have to draw the square in a such a manner in this way. it means this face is perpendicular to the VP now let's see this is another face which is again perpendicular to the VP let's see these two faces this one and this one this both faces this one and this one are parallel to the VP it is parallel to the VP so we have to draw the square in this fashion so it is a square of what 30 mm so in a top view we have to draw in the top view we have to draw the square of side 30 mm by 30 mm so here I am drawing the square of 30 mm by 30 mm of this orientation. Okay, now here I am draw the square of 30 mm side. So the notations are at the base notations are denoted by the alphabets that is A, B, C and D. And top corner notations are denoted by the numbers. So it's 1, 2, 3 and 4. So as it is the top view the base edge of a and we base uh, top edge of one both are get coincide with each other so same with this 2b 3c and 4d now here i have to take the projection of this square up to the reference line by using the friend pencil okay so here now beyond the reference line i am extending this one up to the height of 50 mm okay so from reference line i am measuring the distance 5 cm drawing a line of a height 5 cm so similarly over here for the distance 5 cm then join this line and join this one okay so give the notations here the base notations are a dash b dash then c dash d dash and top notations are 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash and 4 dash so here i am marking the axis axis will locate at a distance 1.5 centimeter so here mark 1.5 centimeter okay mark 1.5 centimeter draw the axis line you draw the axis line this is the axis line okay so this is the top view and this one is the front view now in a front view the front view of a prism is always a rectangle now take the horizontal projection of this one take the horizontal projection by using the front pencil okay now at some marginable distance draw the vertical line now this line should be of height 
5 cm okay now here we have to explode the square now as we explode the cylinder so its total length is the perimeter of a circle now here same the total length is the perimeter of a square so perimeter of square is 4 a so 4 multiplied by a is the 30 so it's 4 into 30 so it become 120 so here i am marking the line at a distance 12 centimeter okay then from this end point take a height 5 centimeter Now at a distance is 30 30 centimeter. I am marking the edges 3, 6, 9, and this one is the 12. So these are the four edges of a square. Okay. Draw this vertical edges at a distance 3 3 centimeter. Now give the notations. It is A b c d and again a no top it's dash a dash b dash c dash d dash a dash now top one dash two dash three dash four dash and again one dash okay so this is the exploded view of a prism so this is the development of a prism which is not cut by any axis now in the statement we cut the prism with a some auxiliary inclined plane now we have to see the condition for that auxiliary inclined plane so whenever you are drawing the auxiliary inclined plane you have to check these two things first one the angle made by the auxiliary inclined plane with the hp and second one is the position of a auxiliary inclined plane from the baseline or from the top line it means at a water distance it will intersect the axis or any other other edges now so let's see the statement a prism is cut by an AIP which is perpendicular to VP. So just forget this statement perpendicular to the VP in every case because always the auxiliary inclined plane is perpendicular to the VP. Okay, so just forget this one. Next, and incline at an angle 40 degree to the HP. Okay, so this is the important condition. The auxiliary inclined plane will incline at an angle 40 degree to the HP. So here we get the inclination of auxiliary inclined plane. Now next we have to check the position of auxiliary inclined plane. Now and intersecting the axis at a distance 20 mm from the base okay so that auxiliary inclined plane will intersect this axis at a distance 20 mm from the base so here i am marking the distance 20 mm from the base okay so here i mark the point now this will inclined plane will intersect this axis now measure the angle 40 degree at 0 10 20 and this one is the 40 okay now connect this auxiliary inclined plane okay these points okay so this is the auxiliary inclined plane which makes an angle 40 degree with the hp and it lies at a distance 20 mm from the base okay and this total height is 50 mm okay Now give the notations to the all the intersecting points which will get obtained by using the intersection of AIP and the vertical edges. Now here I get the one point and here is I get the another point. So I am giving the notation to these two points. Now mark these notations. Let us suppose one double dash, two double dash. Now this one is three double dash and four double dash. As these are lines on A1, then B2, C3 and D4 line okay now we have to take the projection of these points up to the corresponding vertical edges 
now let's see i am taking the projection of this one dash two double dash point up to the a b line okay then this one three four now again this one one two and one at the distance lat last edge so i see Okay, now give the notations to these intersection points this is p1 dash now this is p2 dash p3 dash p4 dash again p1 dash now join these all the points with each other p1 dash to p2 dash p2 dash to p3 dash p3 dash to p4 dash then p4 dash to p1 dash now again p1 dash to a dash then connect this one message and make this vertical edges dark which lies below the points p1 dash p2 dash p3 dash and p4 dash okay now this one is the remaining portion so make it dark So this is the development of letter surfaces of a square prism which will get cut by the AIP. Thank you for watching the video.